I thought it would benefit from seeing my finished product before you design your template. On slide number four, I want you to include both an inspiration image and your template. Here's a picture of my inspiration image that I'm going to be using to sculpt, and here's a picture of my template. These are the two things I want on slide number four uh, by the end of today. Okay, so today I want you to make the template for your wall pocket. Um, I'm going to do that little seedling with all the roots below it, so I have an idea of what I need for a background um, in order to complete this. Now, I want you to take a scrap piece of paper. It can be one that's already written on one side. It doesn't matter. And I'd like you to fold it in half the hamburger way, like that, so that you're working with a half sheet of paper. If you do a full sheet of paper, I'm afraid your planter is going to get big and it's going to be more than you're able to complete at home. So fold your piece of paper in half and grab a pencil and you're going to start out by drawing like the background shape of your planter. Um, I want it to be an oval shape. About like so. If you're having trouble drawing your shape, you could always pull one up on your computer and trace it. Um, but if you can freehand it, go ahead. Um, I don't like the round top on mine, so I'm going to kind of square it off a little bit, flatten it out on the top. Okay, like so. Then I have to decide how big I want my pocket to be, and the bigger your pocket is, the, the healthier your plant's going to eventually be when you put it in. So I'm going to put mine kind of up close to the top like this, and I'm going to give it a nice little scoop. Yours could go straight across like this. Kind of depends on what you want to do. But I'm envisioning like uh, my planter. I'm going to have my stem here with my leaves. And then I'm going to kind of wrap the roots around the outside of the pot like that. Okay. Once I've got that all done, I'm going to take, cut out. On the line. like so and um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put my hole I might put it there I might incorporate it into my other areas but just to give some idea but there's my template and I'm ready to go and ready to start my planter I would like you to just check your measurements on your template if possible my template is five inches by four inches I would not recommend going much bigger than that when you're done with this, I'd like you to take a picture of this and upload both your inspiration image and this onto your Google Slideshow on slide number four.